Welcome to the first introductory tutorial about EFS Survey. Here you will learn the general structure of the software. EFS Survey is a web-based software to build and field online surveys and report the results. You just need internet access and a web browser. You do not install anything on your computer. Just open up a browser and enter the access link to EFS Survey. In this case, we are using the training installation of EFS Survey. On the login interface, type in your personal login data provided to you by email. For test purposes, we are using a sample account called John Doe. EFS Survey consists of four different modules reflecting the main work areas. They are arranged as tabs with a navigation bar at the top of the screen. Status, Projects, Staff and Options. On the right hand side of the navigation bar, you can change the language provide feedback to Global Park in terms of the software, access the software manual and logout. The actual work is performed in the central content area in the middle of the screen. Clicking on tabs allows you to switch between different subtopics and then trigger actions or make entries using icons, pop-up windows or links. The first tab status gives an overview of recent and active projects. Here you find general information like project type and status and the number of survey participants. The icons in the options column provide access to important parts of the software like the questionnaire editor to build up an online survey or the participant administration to invite participants to the survey. The second tab projects is where you will spend most of your time. Here you can see a list of projects and submenus to import or create a new project. These are accessible from the menu list on the left hand side. Basically they provide a broad variety of features to create, test, analyze and export your project. To create a new project, click on the submenu Create Project, enter all the necessary data and click Create on the lower right of the screen. The third tab Staff provides options to organize your staff members depending on your individual rights of your account. If you want several staff members to work together on just one project, you can create further staff accounts by clicking on Create Staff Account. Submit all the necessary information by clicking on the button Create down to the right. If you want to arrange people and teams so teams can work independently on different projects, you have to set up teams first and create staff accounts afterwards. So click on the submenu Teams and click then Create Team. Necessary data gets submitted by clicking on the button Create Team down to the right. Afterwards, you have to set up the staff accounts and assign them to the newly created team. The tab Options lets you adjust the general settings of your account and projects. There you can edit the mail templates and access the question and scale libraries that store frequently used questions and scales. The submenu Mail Templates, for instance, allows you to create and edit invitation or reminder emails for personalized surveys. To save a mail template, click on Save on the lower right of the screen. Generally, in addition to the menu buttons, links and icons, there is a breadcrumb navigation at your disposal to navigate through EFS Survey. It shows where you are within the system and how you get back to one of the previous sections by just one click. All that concludes our introductory tutorial about the general structure of EFS Survey. We hope you understand the software layout better now. If you want to get more information, please check out our websites or one of the next tutorials. Thank you for listening.